Oh, geez, I saw it recording. I was waiting for the camera to start rolling. The number's up the top. I gotta hold the phone this way because it's easier for me to record. I'm doing a cruise control replacement on the pickup. It's not very complicated. You can still get the part. I will put the part number for, this is the cruise control box, and then this here is the, you know, is the new cable assembly. Uh, to replace it, once you get the cruise control box off, and I'll show you where it attaches here in a minute, but once you get it off, to take the old cable off, you got the, uh, the little actuator right here on your box. There's a slot right down in there, okay, that your cable rides in. So you want to take the end of your cable, see where it is right there? There's this little open slot. So you run your cable around, stick your end down a little past this way, and then just slide it in and pull it up and it locks into place. And then there you go, it's all back together. And then to put the cable back on, if I can do this one-handed, we're gonna find out. Come on, I thought I could. To put this back on, it's going to go like that because there are some tabs that have to locate on the inside of the box. So you wanna rotate it about like, hmm, Come on, where's that last one? I don't know if you can kind of see those tabs in there. They have to fit into those grooves. If I can get them locked in here. There we go. And then once they're locked in, you rotate it up. Or you should, should be able to. And it should just snap into... Oh, I didn't have it located all the way. That's probably why. There it goes. And then once you've got it in, you just rotate it up until that little finger locks in place. So yeah... When you go to disconnect it, you gotta squeeze that tab in and then rotate this part down and then it'll pop out. Now, just remember, you'll want it disconnected from the throttle body, which, gosh, the glare on the camera again. You want it disconnected from the throttle body so that you can pull that cable uh, out and, and pop it out of that groove. It's not hard to do, but that's how you put the cable back on the, uh, the cruise control box. And where that cruise control box mounts, of course, Here's your battery, here's your vacuum reservoir, and then right in, right in there, there's a hole right there, there's another one down there, you can kind of see it. It is held in by two bolts. Those bolts look like that, they're 10 millimeter, so you get a 10 mil socket. It's a little bit of a pain to get in there with a 3 8 drive, so if you've got a quarter inch drive, you're probably going to be better off, but you can get in there with a 3 8 drive and an extension and all that good stuff. Get that out, and... You'll also want to, of course, disconnect the cable that plugs into the box. And it's it's right there. That's what it looks like. To get it off, push those two tabs down and then just kind of slowly work it out. There's an ear right there. Don't pull on that or you'll pop this whole back piece off and that helps retain all those wires in there. You don't want to you don't want to do that. So, get all that off. That's how you get your box off. Of course, that's where it plugs in right there. New cable is on, so by the time it's situated back in there, of course, these are the mounting flanges. So I'll just route the cable back up over here and behind, and it snaps. It snaps into here. Now I'll show you on the old cable. Right here, it snaps into that metal part there. So to get it out, you just need to grab these little ears here with a pair of channel locks or something, and squeeze them down and then pull it out. Now, if you can do it with your fingers, power to you. But it's just a it's just a square slot in there. Hang on. Is it better in the sun or out? It's better when I'm out of the sun. But it's just a square slot in there. There's nothing much to it. And then to reattach it, you see that little, little rivet right there? The end of it just slides down over there into place. Now, on some models, that might be a ball stud. And you have to pop it off with a screwdriver. But this is just a, uh, are you even seeing that? Yeah, you guys are. You guys are seeing that. Sometimes this is a ball stud, but this is a 2001 model on the V10. So you'll have to just, it just picks up and, and lifts off. On the old cable, uh, that's the part I broke because I was trying to pry it off. And I thought it was a ball stud, and it's not. So if I were you, when you go to disconnect your cruise control cable, and it's handy to have that cable out of the way if you're changing spark plugs, I would check and make sure it's not one of those because if it is, then it just comes right off. Just lift it up and it should pop right off. And then it just snaps right back on. But that's how you do that. 
I know this isn't the best video, but I, I'm doing it now. I don't really want to come back later and take all this apart again. So that's how you replace your cruise control cable. I'll put the part number for the cable, uh, and I'll put the part number for the uh, control box here down in the description. So you guys can look for it and, and get it if you want. I got my cable from FordPartsPrime.com or something like that. I might put a link. Nah, I won't put a link down in there. But I'll put the part number down in there so you guys know what it is. And you can go ahead and get it if you want. And that's how you replace it. On later models, I don't think you have a cruise control cable because it's all electronic. But like I said, this is an earlier model. So it's all cable operated still. And then, oh, one last thing. You'll have to pull your intake boot off, and you'll have to pull your splash shield off. And the splash shield's not hard to pull off. There's just that little, like, clip there that runs right in here. You just pull that off, and you're you're good to go. It'll come right off. And then just put everything back, tighten her down, and you should be good to go. So that's all I have for you guys today. There's more stuff on the way. Just wanted to get this done while I was doing it. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, uh, I just wanted to throw this on at the end of the video. The the part number for the cruise control cable, that's what it looks like. The reason I'm making this extra video is because it says this part's referred to as an actuator. I'm not going to say that in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but they call it an actuator. I don't know why. That seems a little silly. I mean, then again, this is the same group of people that's calling the, uh, the coolant tank the degas bottle. Yeah, just air quotes. And that, yeah, right here is the other, right here is the other side of it if you're interested. And no, that does not have my address on it. So you can't just show up to my house. I imagine one of these days in the future, one of you is going to get really curious and like sift back through all these old videos, looking to see if I gave any clues away to where I live. All you guys need to know is I live in South Central Kansas. That's all the more specific I'm ever going to get. And just... Yeah, that's it. But anyway, uh, that's called an actuator. So you got your part number. You can go ahead and look at that. I just want to tack that on to the end of the video here because I was thinking about that. And I thought, you know, if they're going to go, if people are going to go look for that part elsewhere, they're probably going to be looking for a cruise control cable like I was. And I was just, you know, I was barking up the wrong tree because it's, it's the actuator. And on the, at least on the Ford Parts Prime website that I bought this from, they show this unit, this part, as just this like stumpy little cable. And if you're going off of that, if you're taking it too literally, you're going to look at it and say, well, wait a minute, that's way too short, but good luck trying to find a better diagram. But no, when they, when they show this part and they call it the actuator, it's going to be the whole cable and, and all that. It comes with a new end. And then, like I said before, just make sure when you're taking the cruise control cable off of the throttle body, just lift up on it first and see if it's like a rivet that it pops onto. And if it's not, then pry it off of the screwdriver because it's probably a ball stud. Either way, don't break it because this this cable should last forever. If I hadn't broken it, there's there was no reason to replace the old cable otherwise. But I just want to tack that onto the end of the video. Sorry about that. I will... I will be back in the future with more great content. So just stick around or don't. It's your choice. Anyway, bye.